Perhaps we'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Coil. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? The uh, Gamora. I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yadu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yandu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many Resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid, and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder in the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which... Now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind... I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Maybe we should.
check other Nova Corps stations to see if they're all right. You want to check out Nova Corps, you do it after we get to nowhere. We should avoid making the rodent angrier. Why? He's cute when he's angry. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planetary scale battle tactics of the Galactic War. What part of this would help clear my mind? None. It's very upsetting to read. Perhaps we should consume the rest of our food rations before we reach nowhere. To make room for new ones. I'll pass. You were not hungry? I already checked the cupboard. All we've got left are number five ration packs. Ah, uh, yes. The dehydrated eggs are foul. Assassin! You believe the events unfolding aboard the rock qualify- So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You were certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocketing group. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. You think Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I can't wait to see the rumor. Do you have dealings with this Cosmo murderess? We've circled back to that name, have we? What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? You the apology to does not so need so. to be sincere. Then what's the point? It demonstrates a willingness to compromise. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocky. 
If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Head straight through the market. You can't miss it. Good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Keep an eye on your things. These creeps are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. Soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict his demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he had. Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Starlord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. By the Kotati they wrote, the broken promise of all he meant. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're gonna keep making that face, it was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green moon. Okay. Bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh, 
So go talk to Cosmo alone. Understand each other. Don't find me. I'm just looking for my little If you could help me, I'll make it work for you a while. Nice try, but I'm not falling for that. Not again, anyway. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See soon. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Afraid, Peter Quill. I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Cosmo, that you? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines.
Work. Give myself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Oh, yeah. Well, you're the lady wanted, so hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Damn. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! Oh. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, triple! Uh, uh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Ross. Get cross Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Never! 
About these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. 
Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! failed your mission, miserably. Peter Quill, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of the League now. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster, not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry, there's more coming. Ah, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm -mm. Hey, this Prince is a big Prince mistake. Uh, I'm innocent. Uh, real Cosmo, are you out there? Wish we did. Cosmo! Be silent. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Reckon Lady H will get us out of here, then? I reckon someone will. Her name is Lady Hellbender.
Should we be strategizing other things? Just in case. Ain't never needed no strategy before, brother. I've been thinking, you know what's better than strategizing a way out? Breaking a way out! I like the way you think. Tend to go to the bathroom, then smash. I really do. Hello, Cosmo. I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! The little bugger just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, crammed Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one too. Shut up and get in there. <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy. Come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of. What do you think I was gonna say? Rocky, dude, woof! We should have buffed you in when we buffed the chance. <laughs> what? Buff we are. You don't! Woof, woof, woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You woof! <laughs> This. Where are we? You would have been still on nowhere. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about. <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the. Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuits Pewter Queen. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No oh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity of Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sound. Universal Church whoa, 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 of Truth. Stop! <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bells for Cosmo. His old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now. Not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... Yet, the Universal Church of Truths 
died with Goldskin God. Let us investigate the Hallows Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. And we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind, kind with ball. Ball. What guardian of galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Tiva grew calm. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restored. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in a leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia? Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Novorog. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and betting parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo pained to agree with Assassin. You were having a great time when... Stop! Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I know you do. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for claws. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. 